what's up guys welcome to this video tutorial so in this lecture we're going to talk about how to work with list view in Java effects so in the previous tutorial we implemented a simple Java effects project with the uh, concept of combo box okay so now let's add a list view for this uh, application so let's go ahead and open our test combo box that fxml file in scene builder so we just need to set the layout of this one because this is getting smaller for our project so let's make it 600 by 400 okay and let's move this let's move this components right here okay and also the combo boxes okay and for now let's add the list view component or the control list view control so right here let's drag this list view to the anchor pane okay and all we have to do is set the ID for this one so for the FX ID let's just type in list view okay and let's uh, let us save our file save and let's go back to our Eclipse ID to start working with the JavaFX list view component Okay, so all we have to do here is implement or um, create the list view control, and of course, the same thing with the type of string and name it as list view. Okay. We just need to import the list view class and of course we will set the items to this particular list view so we're just going to use the uh, list the observable list that we have defined in the previous tutorial so all we have to do is set list view set items and of course the list okay save our file and of course let us refresh our project right click the project and refresh then run our project so we have here the list of course so as you can see the elements of this combo box is the same with the elements of this list view because we we use the same list or the observable list okay so now let's add more feature to this list view now what we're going to do or what we're going to add is every time we click on this button add item elements or new elements should be added to this list so instead of four elements there will be like seven or six depends on how many elements we'll, uh, we will be adding so let us go to uh, test combo box controller Okay, so we have here the method for for the 
button add item or add yes add item and we just need to set the list view to get items and add all of course another set of items like house car what else mm. I don't know maybe television random we'll just writing random um, elements television Okay, save our file and let us try to run our project again. So right click, run as Java application. So let us try to click on this button and see what happens or what will happen. So there will be new items that will be added new item 2, cow's car so if you try to click on this button again it will um, append all the items again okay so we have here new elements if we try to click on this add item button now let's add more feature to this list view so what we're going to do is if we try to select or we see if we select this element and click on this button it should print out this or the value of this of the selected element so in order for us to do that we need to go back to our code and edit the method for our button and let us comment this two lines here and let us define observable list and of course string with the names so names equals our list view that get selection model and get selected items cool now let's add a for loop names and of course let us display the selected item which is the name okay so let's try to run our project again. Okay, so if we select the first element and click on this button, so as you can see, the selected element is displayed on our console. So mango, orange, and another one for kiwi. So you get the point on how to print out the values or the selected values from the list view. Okay, I think that's all for this tutorial. So if you have questions and violent reactions regarding this video, please let me know at the comment section. Thanks.